Morning, morning, morning. Cloudy and cold. Today, cloudy makes it seem colder. Today, I'm going to pick some winter lettuce. Some of this one, some of this one, some of those. I'm going to pick some radishes, which are this whole line along here. Some of those look good. And I'm going to do a little bit of weeding, as usual. And I'm going to begin to tackle this. Behind my compost heap, I have this giant pile of roots. This I've been adding to since I started the garden in what, September, October. Um, I have a feeling it might have begun to compost underneath but what hasn't composted I'm going to burn to turn it into charcoal slash ashes slash biochar in our barbecue pit over there and that's going to go into the compost this is my pile of roots that I pulled out of the beds in the garden and the roots look like this Da, da, da. And they all got piled up on here. So I thought I'll make biochar, which I'm doing. However, these have composted much better than I expected them to. So, a lot of this stuff is not bad. It will turn into compost. So I'm going to separate it all. The long, everything that's dry is going to get turned into biochar. The long roots that haven't dried, like this kind of thing, I'm going to put aside to do I don't know what with, make a new pile and wait for them to break down. And the rest is going to go into the wheelbarrow and into the compost. So that's going to be a good addition to this batch of compost. And I'm happily surprised at how much they've decomposed. I mean, it's been there since October-ish, most of it. So it's a while, but still, a good result. So instead of using the barbecue pit, I'm using this old half a oil can that we usually store our plastic that's going to recycling in. Okay, I have this burning with my assistant. Okay, so out of the giant pile that was here, I got that on the compost, that's the stuff that started decomposing, which is great. That smaller pile of wood, roots, and this pile of biochar, which is like uh, not fully burnt wood and roots and things, burnt under very low oxygen, not quite charcoal, but on the way there. And that's burned down and cooled down for a couple of days. That'll get mixed in with the compost. That's going to be great for the plants and the soil. This is the mushroom that I've been watching grow for a while. That one and there's two there as well. I thought they would grow much faster. But I'm apparently wrong. I think it's a slippery jack, but it might be a puffball. I won't be able to tell until it's a bit bigger. Puffballs are edible, but I don't fancy them. I just noticed there's another one growing here. This is. I'm not sure what kind. 